And so it begins. Now, for anyone who's not played one... The old wizard looks at you menacingly. My chamber pot is full. Empty it immediately. So, what I was going to say is that, first of all, I'm guessing that if anyone has actually found this video and is watching it right now, you were probably specifically looking for it, meaning that you probably played it before, or you heard about it, or one way or another, you ended up finding it right here. So, I'm going to save right now, because if you've played one of these games before, you know that death literally waits around every single corner. So... This is the main entry room of the wizard's house. The front door is to the south. Creaky stairs go upstairs, and doorways lead north and east. So the wizard just yelled at me to clean his chamber pot. One thing you'll learn playing this game very quickly is that the wizard is not a very patient man, and if you keep him waiting, he will be very angry at you and punish you. So let's do what he says. Right down here. This is chamber pot. Let's clean it. Wrinkling your nose in disgust, you throw the smelly contents of the chamber pot out the open window. What a way to make a living. Mananan's elegant bedchamber is a display room for the land's finest furnishings. From a regal canopy bed to an expertly carved closet, you can't help but compare it to your own meager space. It would be if the wizard paid me, which he does not. Then again, I guess he does give me lodgings and food. Although, what's interesting is that he never actually gives you any food. You have entered the musty tower of the old wizard's house. A polished brass telescope is directed out a window. From here, Mananan spies upon the poor occupants of Ludor. Nothing we can do up here right now. So, first of all, I guess we should just take a, look, a little look at what we've got up here. You've got your menu bar where you can select things to look at touch or interact with, talk to, and you've got your inventory, which you can use things. And you've got your options bar, which has your standard volume, sound and music, game speed, and speech volume. I'm going to up the game speed a little, because what's interesting is that the timer up in the, up at the top of the screen here doesn't seem to be affected by the speed. At least I don't think so. Check that before I make a liar of me. Ah, it does. Okay. Well, well, the wizard gives you an evil glare. Let's see, sometimes the wizard will just show up just to screw with you. Just to menacingly stare at you and whatnot. So anyway, the whole point of this timer up here, right here, is that that timer basically tells you whether the wizard is around or not. The whole point being, if it's that color, the normal sort of orangish, brown, whatever. That means he's around, and it means that if he catches you with anything that's dangerous or something that he doesn't want you to have, he can appear at any time and will either take it from you and punish you or just outright kill you. Now, occasionally the wizard likes to take trips or naps. And that is the time in which you have to operate and have freedom. Now this is... This is your own pitiful bedchamber. Compared to Mananan's fine room, yours is almost a cell. The bed is hard and uncomfortable, with only a threadbare blanket and a small, flat pillow. The other furnishings are junk, but as poor as it is, it's your haven, as the wizard never enters it. That's actually very, very important, because... The bed is nothing more than a cot, hard and cold and difficult to sleep on. Your pillow is small and flat, as it is made of old rags. The whole entire point being that the bed is incredibly useful because it allows you to hide any of your items, retrieve any of your items, and sleep when you can't really sleep. It'll waste about a minute of time. It doesn't really do anything. And usually in this game, you don't want to waste time. The wizard's glare makes you suddenly feel very, very small. I have decided to take a journey. 
that is... Because now, he's not around. And we have about anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. Basically, to do as much as we can. There is a small drawer in the front of the mahogany vanity. So, I'm gonna go with his room. Your breath smells fine. You take the wizard's hand mirror. And it makes that nice sound whenever we do something right. So far, you're right about your journey. Perhaps in a few years, when you've worn out that soft down presently posing as stubble, the wizard's personal thoughts are a recipe for guaranteed boredom. There is nothing of interest in that part of the drawer. Something else in there that we need. Let's go check out this one. You don't look good wearing peaked hats. You search behind the clothes hanging in the wizard's closet. You're startled to discover an ancient parchment scroll. Its ink has faded, but it seems to be a map. Taking this treasure, you leave everything else exactly as it was. And that is, of course, the magic map, which is terribly It's a very quick way to travel. You search the pockets of the black cloak. Suddenly you discover a small brass key. What could it unlock? It's also very You don't have a problem with heights, not one you'd admit to. You've never wanted to smell like a rose, but... Some of these items you don't, you might not think would be all that useful, but they are actually very important. Mananan must have thrown away his wand repair kit. It's no good to you. You've only been fed slop in your life. Bit late to be starting on crunchy food. They're of no use. You haven't time to. S you haven't time to. S you haven't time. You haven't. You haven't. Okay. I didn't know if that there was, is nothing. There's a hidden item somewhere that has a letter. I wasn't sure if that's what that okay. like There is nothing. All right, we are cooking with gas now. We've got eight points. You are not close enough. You are not close. Ha, Nimbly, you it. grab the nasty cat. <laughs> you manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches and leaps from your arms. With grim satisfaction, you survey your wounds. That cat is actually a beast to catch. Lucky, and I got it on my first try. Let's go check out the kitchen, shall we? First, we have the dining room. The large dining table is made of... This is where Mananan eats his meals. You, of course, are not supposed to eat here. You eat in the kitchen. There is a pine table and benches large enough to seat at least ten people. But the wizard has never had any guests for dinner. The wonton there, I'm sure. 